We will be facing very, very difficult decisions. The proposed budget for the next two years totals $1.59 billion. It includes funding for three classes of police recruits, totaling 160 positions, and four classes of fire recruits, totaling 200. This is up from two classes for each department this year. There has been years in which we're trying to catch up from loss of recruitment classes in police, both police and fire. Uh, couple that with a lack of interest in the industry altogether. We are essentially like drinking from a fire hose. City leaders saying the goal is to get back up to the full number of officers CPD is budgeted to have and keep up with retirements. I think they're taking uh, a half step when they need to take about four or five. Fraternal Order of Police President Dan Hill says more recruit classes is good, but he thinks bigger pay increases are key to attracting more candidates. <laughs> this discussion comes as the city faces a deficit. Our expenses, frankly, are growing more quickly than our revenue. City leaders saying with less people commuting into the city to work after the COVID-19 pandemic, the city is collecting less income tax. They plan to use American Rescue Plan Act dollars to make up for it in fiscal year 20. 2024, which starts in July. But by 2025, the city could be facing a nearly nine and a half million dollar deficit in its operating budget. Which is why this council and I have been so aggressive at looking for new streams of revenue um, to make us less reliant on our earnings tax revenue. The city increased the property tax rate for 2024. Another revenue stream includes the possible sale of the Cincinnati Southern Railway to Norfolk Southern. The budget also allocates $615,000 to expand the alternate response to crisis unit. This was a pilot program this year. For 3,000 hours, mental health professionals, not police, responded to calls.